Hello Earth Signs and welcome to my channel, Awakened Priestess. If you're new to the channel, that's great. I am as well. Yesterday was my official launch, which was the um, July 16th. Pretty crazy day to decide to do that with the uh, full moon and lunar eclipse. But um, it, it, it went just as I expected it would go, and I struggled to get the videos to upload properly. So we're still sort of in the, um, the backside of the eclipse and full moon, so I'm going to redo these videos and get them up. I have since figured it out. One was launched successfully. The fire signs got lucky, a lucky break. Um, yeah, I'm normally a pretty technologically capable girl, but just something went right over my head. Anyway, welcome. And um, yeah, so listen, if, if you're here because the thumbnail or the title of uh, this reading resonates with you, I don't know what that is right now because I'm just about to start, then it's probably a, a message for you. Um, I do put dates on... Um, most of my readings but that's for cataloging purposes that makes it a little bit easier for people who are serious um, uh, uh, observers of readings that want to go back and check to see oh well you know this is happening now what was happening three months ago and then they can go and find it but generally my intention is that the readings are timeless um, we're all on our own timelines and um, that being said, if, if the reading does not end up resonating with you completely or partially or totally, um, definitely t check the video for your, your rising sign, your ascendant, uh, your moon and Venus. And I say that mainly because, especially since I focus on relationships, your rising sign is the face you show to the world. It's your persona. And it's how people are often responding to you, um, especially in, in work, definitely, because a lot of people at work don't know your core personality, which comes from your sun sign. They know the person you show to the world. So take a look at that if you're having any issues in relationships um, with miscommunication or tension or conflict. Um, it'll help you better understand how you're being perceived. And then the moon, of course, is our thoughts and our, our, our emotions. And Venus is the planet of love. So those are the uh, other three I would tell you to take a peek at. Um, my readings are general and for the collective, so they will not resonate. I know we're here for, for you, Earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's not going to touch each and every one of you individually every single time because I'm just picking up a storyline, I'm running with it, and it, it's going to capture a certain audience out of that whole collective, okay? But let's just say something resonates with you and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, she's, she's talking to me. You might wanna check out and see if I offer an extended reading on that particular um, video because that's where you're gonna get the next deeper dive. And then if, you know, if you're not getting your full answer, you can always um, pull up my scheduler and look into booking me for private readings. I do offer those as well. The links to any extendeds would be below in the description, as well as the link to my scheduling page is in the description. Um, finally, I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you for donating to those who donated to the channel the it was quite a surprise to wake up to greatly appreciated um deeply appreciated and felt it uh, set me on a really good path for the day and i greatly appreciate it so thank you thank you okay so now what i want to do here oh hey my computer is showing in the screen and i don't like that so pardon me while i I am readjusting. Okay. That was kind of crazy. I did not notice that earlier. My apologies. Again, newbie here. So what I'd like to do is um, I like to start with an oracle of some sort. I'm For the earth signs, I'm feeling called to uh, use 
Colette Baron reads new uh, Goddess Power Oracle. I've really been enjoying them personally. And um, so we're going to see what goddess is sort of watching over you in this moment. I do throw in some reversals, so I'm going to do a little flipsy here. All right, so what energy is guiding this reading today? Let's sit here. Ooh, okay, that's an interesting one. This is um, Ishtar, beautiful card, 23, 2 and 3 is a 5. So um, this is, she's the goddess of communion. Now, um, as Colette Baron reed has explained, she has taken, many goddesses have many different um, meanings, and uh, they, 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 what she has decided to do is to boilerplate down to the essence of each of the goddesses she chose to represent and modernize it, give it a modern twist. So I'll just give you a little bit of a flavor. And because it came up in reverse, that means it is an alignment message. So let's see where we have room to align when it comes to communion. Uh, it says, when you refuse, oh, wow, this is cool. When you refuse to see the signs, it can ultimately take you down a path you really don't want to be on. When red flags indicate something is not quite right, it's not a sign to jump in with both feet. It says, this is not for you. This is not yet. This is to be revealed. If you choose to move forward stubbornly, you could find yourself back in an old lesson you'd rather not face again. When you are attached to an outcome, oh wow, that's so, I'll say that again. When you are attached to an outcome and unable to see another option, you might say, the oracle said this wasn't in my best interests, but I'm gonna go do it anyway. The truth is that the goddess Ishtar is offering this alignment task for you now, trust, that the wisdom in the universe will provide with perfect form, but in divine timing. This means you might have to wait for a while, reconnect to your partnership with the goddess, and trust that you will not be left behind. This connection is at the core of everything. Okay, so a little bit of divine timing. That may be a harbinger of things to come within the reading, but otherwise a pretty, pretty good message, I think. A good way to start. Okay. So let's see uh, what's on, in store for you. I, the, you know, the, the goddess of communion and, and sort of, I'm taking it to mean, let's commune with spirit, let's commune with our higher power, um, let's not uh, put blinders on and fool ourselves. Signs are signs, messages are messages. We get them and, you know, we should all be working to be aware of the signs, to, to allow them to move through us and pass through us and then guide us ever so gently. I mean, we are operating under free will at all times, so, you know, denial is part of free will, but I think that this goddess is saying, don't, don't be in that space, don't be in that space. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with in the underneath. The energy underneath is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so that's very, that's encouraging. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of love and, um, Emotion, nurturance, emotional safety, emotional security. Okay. And then we've got the King of Wands. So now we have a queen and a king. And we have devil energy there, Capricorn, which is an earth sign. Okay. Ten of Swords is the opportunity. And Five of Pentacles is what's coming right at you. Five of Pentacles followed by the Ten of Swords. Okay, so we've got to be on the lookout here. Five of Wands, Strength, uh, some Leo energy there, and Justice. Okay, Justice is the Libra energy. Um, hmm. 
So what it seems to me here is that um, in this particular storyline, you or the other person is the king of wands. Because what I'm feeling here, queen of cups being the underlying energy, I'm, I feel that's coming from you. And king of wands is passionate. This is, um, this is a person who knows what he wants and he goes for it, he or she. I'm just only using the male gender because it's a king, but the energies can shift and the storylines, you know, the story, the placement in the story can shift. So feel free to flip back and forth if you need to. And so the fact that we've got the, the devil energy following the king of wands makes me feel like there's some sort of temptation here. There's um, a, a, a possibility of um, not everything being on the up and up, a little trap-like. And because what's happening in the situation here, the opportunity, it says, is the Ten of Swords, there's an ending here, it's, but it's through communication. So there might be some sort of finality coming uh, from someone that you love very dearly. And the Five of Pentacles, as what's coming at you, is feeling left out. So if you're being cut off, if this, this ending, right, the cycle is ending with the Ten of Swords, which is, you know, it's sharp, it's cutting, but it's, an, it's, it's a, like, put a bow on it. We're done here. Um, that's going to leave you to feel a little left out. And the advice here is five of wands. Don't, don't go in the mud. Don't scrap about it. You've got strength on your side and justice will prevail. All will work out in the end. Okay. So I don't feel that that's a, whoever this person is, is going to get their come up and I don't feel that from the justice card. I feel it I feel it's a matter of character. Okay? So this passionate king of wands whoever this person is and it could be you earth sign or it could literally be a fire sign is my first thought. Um, but we've got your earth energy here in the devil and you know which is capricorn uh, doesn't have to be but I'm just saying it feels to me that this is your take notice, heed the warning, um, that all that's coming at you that's flowery and passionate and has, you know, all the right words at all the right moments um, may be setting you up for a fall. And, you know, you can't fall any further than face down with ten swords in your back, <laughs> buyer beware, and how that may make you feel is oh my gosh like uh, you know i'm i'm just completely left out in the cold i'm um abandonment fear and uh the advice to not engage with any level of hostility stay in your strength and your truth here's the truth justice will prevail the scales will balance but you have a lot you have one, two, three major arcana cards in just this small little reading, which is pretty impressive. It's um, a lot. It, it means that this is probably a very strong message for whoever it's resonating with. And uh, let's just take a look at a couple of things here. I want to see more about the devil energy. As you'll notice, I, I don't use reversals and, you know, I it's not a judgment against it for me. It's just the way I was taught and how I learned. And I feel, you know, because uh, you, you've got the devil sitting here, it can be negative, it can be positive, right? Because the devil energy is still, uh, it can be about, release being released from something that seems toxic it can be that 
depending on the cards that are around it. Being that it's followed by the Ten of Swords, <laughs> I'm, I'm not guessing that it's a positive meaning today. So I'm going with something is a muck. So let's look at this. We've got Knight of Swords. Okay, fast moving. The Fool and Temperance. Wow, look at all the major arcana in this reading. I'm flipped out here. Whew. Okay, so now I'm convinced, I'm convinced the devil energy is your warning, but it is your energy here. Not that you're the energy of the devil, but this card is for you, uh, representing you, because what we've got here is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords usually comes in fast, one of the faster moving knights, um, with, you know, protestations of their truth. And um, it feels to me like that may be what the lore is with this King of Wands, is that's the energy that's coming at you is fast with lots of, lots of words to... Um, to distract you and the fool is it's like saying no this is your this is your you know exit stage left don't even look just take that leap and exit stage left um, and and wait have temperance wait for all the glitter to to pass because if you're if the Queen of Cups is really underlying the energy here it's not happening in this first round with this person um, what you're going to end up with is stabbed in the back so the temperance tells me that if you don't want to be feeling left out in the cold sit tight have patience have faith in yourself in yourself because that's what the strength cards about and justice one way or another balance will be achieved right you're going to get the fairness one way or the other whether you find out the truth of this situation is not going in your favor you'll find out in advance if you can just hang tight a little bit okay let's see i want to see about the five of pentacles a little bit let's see what the five of pentacles can bring I'm not looking for anything specific. I just want to see if there are any people type energies around it. Seven of Swords, sure. Super sneaky. Somebody is not being honest. There's some deception here. Like a thief in the night with your heart, right? Five of Cups. Ugh, okay. Lots of sadness here coming off of that. Five of Pentacles, two fives. A lot of grief, okay, and then nine of swords. So now you have the nine of swords and the ten of swords. Let me learn how to hold my cards, people. Okay, so yeah, this we're not we're not seeing cups energy here, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this five of pentacles, you may feel you may feel sadness and um fear because deep down inside you kind of have a gut check that somebody's not being on the level with you and that is bringing you all kinds of sadness you're staring at the three cups spilled over but there's two cups behind you and that's what the underlying energy of this entire reading is let the queen do her job she will bring it in it will come but it may not be in the wrappings of this person uh, that you're dealing with okay uh the seven of swords of five of cups and of course the nine of swords means you're up you're losing sleep over this now because you know like you know like you know that something is not quite on the level earth sign Oh, gosh, I don't like to give those kinds of readings, but but what I do like is I, the Five of Cups is, is important because the underlying energy of this entire reading is the Queen of Cups, which says that that is in the picture for you. That's what, that's what you want, and it's, it's unfolding, but you may really have to wait 
a little longer for it. Take a leap of faith. Don't jump at at this whoever this um, this King of Wands is. All right. So when I look at this, I'm saying I've got a lot of swords. Most of the energy here on the board, well, most of it's our major. We've got Temperance, the Fool, Justice, Strength. Yeah, we've got four major arcana. We've got a queen, a king, a knight. So all the court cards, one of one of each. But we have one, two, three, four swords. So there's a lot of air energy here. Um, Libra energy, Leo energy. Capricorn, I think that's your energy. And I also think whoever is watching this reading and saying, oh my gosh, that's my story, it's your Queen of Cups that are going to come in. It's for you. Um, but we have a little bit, you know, we've got some obviously Earth sign with some pentacles and uh, one, one, two wands, the King and the Five. I do think that the King of Wands is the energy of the person that you're thinking about okay so that's really where we are going to end for now i think that the take home message is go back to realign with spirit and don't delude yourself right that's what this message is about this message is about um, seeing things as they are, not as you want them to be, or if you're taking counsel, right, from, from your higher power, from any authority, from this reading even, like it said right in the book, if you're asking the oracle, you know, heed the freaking message. Wait a minute, hold on, take a breath, and then this picture is playing out exactly in, in accordance with that message which is just bide your time. Don't jump at this. What you're feeling, this, this exhaustion, this exhaustion of the Ten of Swords and feeling sort of, I'm not, I'm not fully clued in here. I'm a little out in the cold, being followed by the Seven of Swords. Believe it. Believe it. You know, because you don't need this Five of Cups heartache just just know that the two of cups is on its way to you okay so thanks so much um i would love it if you found value in the video if you'd go ahead and click the like and subscribe if you haven't already done and click that little bell and it'll let you know when another video is uploaded thanks so much for joining me earth signs it's been a pleasure and i'll see you soon